Hi folks, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be doing an oil change on a Audi Q2 TFSI. Um, if you've seen there's an oil change um, notification on the dashboard. Uh, it's just going to be a simple oil change. There's nothing complex about it. This is the part number for the 1.4 TFSI. Um, part number for the oil filter. <laughs> Um, together with there's also a gasket there and the, um, an oil plug yeah so we're going to renew these then we're going to be using about four liters of shell professional AVL um, 0w30 um, What's important when you're using your oil is you check that just underneath that 0W30 there is a VW spec 544 .00. I know the newer, the latest model of the Q2 doesn't use that spec anymore. It uses the latest spec, if I'm not mistaken, it should be VW 547 or 548. Uh, so it will depend on your car. Uh, but the owner's manual should tell you which spec you should adjust to. So I'm going to use the 544 spec. Uh, alternatively, I've seen some people using the Castro Professional, um, Castro Edge Professional. You can also do, but for me, I'm using the Shell Ultra because when I bought the car, it was what was recommended. Um, so let's get to it. For bottom cover, we've got um, T20s. Um, so there's the Tox. We've got several of these on the cover. Let's remove each of them. You have to remove the screw there is a you push in there, fitting then you pull at the back. But you need to remove some more around. Back then, the ones on the other side will be the same, there will be three here as well. The three at the back are, are larger, the yeah, T45s. Thank you. 
Is that all filtered? Checking for leaks. Looks all clean. Right. Let's uh, set the back. Feels like a 17. for about an hour and I'll come back <sighs> ideally you should always start with the filter um, in case it becomes difficult to remove and you can't do it on your own and you need or you need some um, hydraulic checking for better access but they've done it the other way around. Um, it's just lazy. This guy's at the, at the garage. I've attempted this filter. should set my <coughs> torque at 20 newton meters for the filter 30 newton meters for the uh, sump plug
most likely going to pour some more after I run the engine to account for the filter. It's about four liters so far. Check for it to set the bottom of the car. Right now, I'll show you how you can do a service reset using the Ansel VD700. That's it folks, I'm going to put back my cover underneath, thanks for watching.